Hello everyone, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is a weekly pick a card reading. We have three groups before us as usual. And uh, yeah, this is going to show us what your energy is like for the upcoming week. What is the guidance and what you can expect during the week. Okay, so I haven't placed any objects today. I would um, urge you to use your intuition and see which group calls out to you the most. You've got group 1, group 2, group, group 3. And um, yeah, you can select your group. If you need more time, you can pause the video here. But I'll see you in your reading. Hi group 1, for those of you who have chosen the first pile, let's take a look at your reading. Okay, you've got the stars and the tower, nice. These are both, the stars is, um, it's a really positive card. This could be some sort of recognition coming your way, okay. Um, it's often associated with fame. And with the tower here, this could have something to do with your workplace, okay, or the organization that you work at. So you could be getting some recognition or appreciation where you're working. Or what I'm also hearing is uh, some long overdue recognition, okay. The tower can be a card of the past, of um, something that's been going on for quite a while. But it does have something to do with authority figures, with uh, organizations, banks, companies, things like that. So you could be getting um, either hearing from a, a company or an organization or you could be getting some sort of positive, you know, recognition or positive reinforcement by someone it could be a person as well someone who is an authority figure okay all right so let's take a look at your tarot cards you've got the seven of swords the empress okay the ace of pentacles and the high priestess nice So first of all, I I feel like there is some kind of opportunity coming your way. Okay, uh, this is a tangible sort of of sort of. Oh my God, I can't speak. Tangible sort of opportunity, something that is. Um, I'm also getting a lot of attraction, magnetism. Okay, um, this is a tangible opportunity that is coming your way which will allow you to increase your abundance or your sense of security, okay? It's a gateway that is opening up for you that is um, presenting to you a new path, which is going to bring a lot of abundance and success to you, okay? Now, for, for some of you, this could have something to do with some kind of a, a spiritual business, okay? If you are maybe, um, if you are maybe a tarot reader or you do witchcraft or something like that, you could be getting some kind of an opportunity or some um, bonus or some kind of an upliftment in your circumstances in a tangible manner, okay? Basically, your business could be booming or maybe you're starting something new which is going to have long-term positive impact in your life, okay? Uh, there's a lot of feminine energy that I'm getting from this group. So, I feel like you're in a really beautiful, receptive energy this week. And if it's not an external offer pre being presented to you, although that could be the case for most of you, this is possibly some kind of an insight that you're getting this week, which is going to help you make more, you know, uh, 
progress as far as your material success and financial success is concerned so it's a very earthy energy on the one hand and on the other it's it's a very uh, receptive sort of uh, it, ethereal energy as well okay the seven of swords is a bit of a warning here to um i'm hearing don't neglect okay so if you're getting some kind of an insight that could actually really help you don't neglect it or don't ignore it or brush it off thinking that this is not you know ah this won't work or this is inviable it's not um you know that's what most of us do actually <laughs> so try not to do that try not to self sabotage in any way by playing it down or um even if you're getting like an intuitive um solution of some sorts that's going to open up a new door a new path for you really pay attention to that and don't um yeah don't squiggle your way out of it okay that is what i'm getting here for you for for some of you this could be just that you are starting off something of your own and you're following your intuition strongly to guide you on this new path and um you're keeping it under wraps okay so if there is a an external opportunity coming your way from an organization or something like that you're not revealing that to anyone there are two cards here that signify that that there's some secrecy that you're keeping okay that you're uh, embodying basically so you're not letting any information out and this is all kind of receptive the only action oriented card here would be the ace of pentacles the seven of swords is also about strategic uh, strategic thinking critical thinking it's a bit self serving but in this case i feel like it's because you either don't want to jinx it or you don't want to you know um you're not ready to really bring it out in the open as of now okay so that's what i'm getting here let's see the other cards so what do you need to focus on yeah not surprised you've got new moon i'm sorry <laughs> yeah new moon promise and new beginning so there there's definitely something that you're being urged to start okay this is the right time for you to start to plant that seed because it is going to grow it is something that holds a lot of potential in it the ace of pentacles can go right up to the 10 of pentacles if it is watered and nurtured okay with a lot of um unconditional love with care with uh with grace with understanding and with effort okay so that is what is being urged here this is really beautiful you have like um two cards that are talking about the potential of something new happening in your life you might want to keep it under wraps is what i'm getting because this is something really good that is coming your way okay you've got wow i just spoke of strategy there so you've got strategy financial constraints okay you've got take time to breathe out have faith in your dreams okay waxing crescent moon you've got the waxing crescent moon here and here you've got the new moon which is yeah which again is i think waxing crescent that is being shown in this card okay let's see the other cards you've got clean it up and chaos and conflict okay So you've got number thirty-three, number twenty-one. You've got two twenty-ones here, which boils down to the number three, which is the Empress card in tarot, which is new birth, 
its creativity, its communication, collaboration. Um, it's also the number of Mercury. So I feel that again I'm getting that message of um, the Seven of Swords is really important here, okay? Because that to me is talking about self sabotage, and that's why you're being asked to clean it up, to clean up any sort of limited um, thinking any sort of belief system that you have that may be hampering your growth in some way that is the only thing that's going to bring in this sense of conflict you know whether i should do this or not whether this is worth uh, whether this is going to lead me to success and abundance or not or whether i'm cut out for it or not that is what i'm getting the most um, that's why you're being asked to have faith in your dreams because no dream is unattainable, okay? We are the only ones who stand in our way. Most of the time, we tell ourselves, you know, stories about how limited our um, circumstances are, how we can, you know, how this is going to go bad because deep down we feel like it's too good to be true or I'm not worthy of this or this has never worked out in the past. It won't work out and you have, you know, all these yada 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 stories running in your head and that's the only thing that is really um, likely to create a sense of inner conflict, okay? And that's why you're being asked to clear it off, to start afresh, to clear the past, to clear any sort of limited thinking, any sort of constraints you may have um you know been you may have subjected yourself to it's a very eight of swords kind of energy as well where um there are so many beliefs that you have maybe unconsciously okay that you are uh, most of the time in our life we we are on autopilot we don't make decisions consciously we don't realize how our subconscious belief system really affects and impacts our life in such a huge manner and that's what's being asked to really focus on to pay attention to to clean up to release to let go of to detach from so that you can make full use of this opportunity that is coming your way Okay, that's what your guides are stressing upon this week. Number 33 is also something that I associate with, um, with, um, well, people have different names and labels, but I associate it with, uh, our, you, some people call it ancestral energy, but for me, the, it, it's associated with Ascended Masters, okay? And we can call them God, we can call them Jesus, Allah, you know, uh, Buddha, whatever name you, you want to believe in and associate with um, consciousness, okay? That's... Okay, I trailed off there, sorry. <laughs> So that's the number that I associate, um, that the, uh, 33 is the number that I associate with that. And I feel like there's a lot of learning happening here, okay? Because I mentioned Ascended Masters, I feel like there's a lot of learning happening here. There's a lot of uh, growth happening here. And you're learning this week to step out of that constraint, that wall, that fortress that you've built around you beyond which you feel like you don't have you know access to unlimited possibilities or unlimited resources or just the ability to visualize something that we have never experienced in our life can be an act of rebellion you know for most people and uh, me included so that's what you're being asked to really um, do. Step out of that limitation. Step out of that constraint. 
there are certain plans you know some strategies that you're going to have to make this week because of uh, whatever it is that you're launching creating bringing to life birthing whatever it may be in your case but it does hold a lot of potential for success for recognition for some of you and for um, it's the stars is also an all round wish fulfillment card it's a beautiful card to get in the nomen so there's a lot of hope and um, potential that is um, you know available to you this week so that's something that you would really benefit from to focus on and to remove all of this negative sort of conditional thinking okay or detach from it if you can't completely remove it so you've got have patience as your relationship card love is patient and kind always and this i feel is is your guides um telling you to have patience with yourself as well it is not easy to really step out of those limits and boundaries that we set for ourselves um and it takes considerable and consistent effort on our part because um whether we accept it or not the fact is that it's far easier for us to be critical of ourselves and to sabotage ourselves than to be kind and patient with ourselves and that's something that needs to be learned it needs to be practiced like an exercise okay that's what you're being encouraged to do this week do take time to breathe out to um nurture yourself okay look after yourself and really ground your energy when you're feeling that your your mind is you know going haywire and you're going back to that old story about i can't do this and i can't do that and i can't have this and i can't have that you know that kind of story so just be patient and kind and compassionate to yourself okay so this looks like a fabulous week if you've been really holding yourself back and thinking that you know i don't think i'm ready to launch that new product or new um uh, workshop or new you know or make that or send that email or send that application or whatever it might surprise you because this is the right time for you to do that and there is something tangible and positive waiting for you on the other side okay so take care of yourself i hope you enjoyed the reading don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the reading and i'll see you around and have a wonderful week ahead thank you for watching Hi group 2 for those of you who've chosen this pile let's take a look at your reading you've got the tree and the fox okay interesting combo uh okay i'm getting a strong message here that for some of you there is someone in your family who is either you need to be diplomatic with this person or this person is not being completely honest with you okay it's a bit like uh, what i'm hearing is white lies so it's not it's not dangerous but it's it's tricky in the sense that you know how you hold back on the whole truth um that's also a form of lies right so that's what i'm getting here um yeah <laughs> this is someone in your your family okay your family tree or you may be wanting to sort of be diplomatic or play your cards close to your chest because you might not trust uh these people or you might not trust whoever you're you know whoever you call family basically and um uh, this could also be any other kind of close knit group but for most of you i'm getting that 
there's some tricky energy here okay it's a bit of a smoke screen let's see the other cards we got a family card first <laughs> the ten of pentacles we've got the sun beautiful the knight of swords and the nine of wands okay There is something being illuminated here, but again, for most of you, I'm getting that you're the one who's um, putting up boundaries. You're feeling defensive and you, it, it's kind of a non-confrontational energy, okay? And this is happening even at a collective level because although people are sort of acting out and being a bit trash and being harsh and, you know, jumping the gun and probably not um not thinking clearly before acting um there is also this energy on the other hand which is about smoke screens and you know not having the full details basically not having complete information and that's what makes you want to sort of close down a bit and have firm boundaries around you so i'm getting a strong feeling that for most of you you're the one who has uh, or who is going to this week put up firm boundaries okay and this may have something to do with um your sense of freedom okay i feel like you may feel a bit threatened in some way um because I, I get the feeling that you're doing this so that uh, to avoid confrontation, okay? And to protect that which is vulnerable. The sun is also to me sometimes about your inner child, okay? It's a very playful fifth house Leo energy. It's um, very much connected to also your ego, okay? So if somebody is acting out, somebody is being harsh especially in your family or your sense of community, then you're going to feel uh, this, you're going to sort of clam up, you know, like a, a crab does <laughs> and go into your shell and build this fortress around you and um, be like, okay, I'm on my own. I, I want to be left alone and I don't want to engage in this because it's a bit like playing with fire. That's what I'm hearing. Let's see the other cards here. Ebb and flow. What to focus on. Activation. Okay. So what to focus on is to... Um, I feel that your guides are saying that this is going to pass. It's just a phase. And it's going to... What I'm also hearing is don't let things blow up out of proportion so they are sort of forewarning you in a way to um, understand that things are that the tide is going to basically you know recede so it's not always going to be high tide or always going to be low tide so there is this sense of riding the wave and going with the wave rather than um trying to really force something okay that's the kind of message that i'm getting and it's also about um yeah there's a strong indication here of not letting things blow out of proportion okay i usually don't get that message with this card but i'm hearing that right now and also because of the knight of swords here there's a lot of you know um like <laughs> a lot of unpredictability that comes with this card um with the stormy kind of weather in the back and the clouds all haywire and you've got clouds over here in this card as well there's this sense of avoiding reacting to triggers okay that's what's coming through quite strongly 
and this has something to do with protecting your inner child protecting your innermost innocent um core okay your sense of uh, purity that is what i'm getting here you've got door to value really nice woman holding a heart okay interesting number 44 a new start is coming new moon that's a really nice card to get you've got nothing is yet set in stone mutable moon okay so uh, moon did i say moon new mutable moon so you've got two cards here which are depicting the tides okay and quite turbulent sea so this is really about um like i said not fighting the current going with the flow as cliche as that sounds and riding the wave and knowing that this too shall pass if it is difficult energy if it seems like oh my god this is too much for me to handle know that this will pass because nothing really is set in stone okay neither the good nor the bad so it is going to pass and there's just this need for you to ride the wave is what i'm getting okay there's something really beautiful happening this is a brand new start for some of you this is a relationship okay a close connection and there may be um, a possibility that you are feeling quite defensive towards this person as well like you want to i get this feeling of you know wanting to pull away from something or someone either this is family or you could even want to uh for some reason pull away from this new opportunity in love okay so that is something to be careful about because um you might feel like you know i don't want to be vulnerable i don't want to open up and i maybe you know you haven't dated anyone for quite a while and so i completely understand that <laughs> because it gets difficult for you to even trust somebody new that is coming your way okay could be a leo for some of you uh, could also be an air sign okay um gemini libra aquarius but it doesn't have to be but there is something really beautiful opening up for you now this could be a financial windfall or some financial improvement happening for you okay and that is where this new start is happening or this could be in terms of your love life okay your close relationships and i would actually um say that if this is a new love there is a potential for it to really grow it and be something that is stable okay and you might feel for some reason i'm getting a very defensive re um energy from you okay let's see what these cards are you've got why and flexible okay so you see she's reaching out for a book here which also has wings this card um, is all about motivations okay what what is your why behind anything behind um doing something or not doing something so but i get the feeling that there is some some more information that you're reaching out for okay there is some it's it's a learning experience is what i'm hearing okay and it's probably a learning experience in how to be more flexible and how to open up to something that you haven't experienced before or something that is actually good for you in the long run okay both of these cards actually the the tree and the ten of pentacles are about long-term growth stability and of course family lineage all of those things and uh, something that's really tangible something that stands the test of time okay so be it a relationship or a new opportunity to maybe make more money 
and improve your finances uh you're being urged to really just uh, first of all take action on it and to ride ride the wave like i said okay and not be closed up closed off um because there is potential here okay there is definitely potential for success for happiness for growth for stability but uh, provided your you know the why you know why you're doing this if you're not feeling like doing this if you're feeling the urge to clam up like i said um then also take a step back and ask yourself why why am i doing this why do i feel like i don't want this or i want to you know um pass it off as an opportunity or as a new start so really focus on your motive and yes uh they are urging you to be flexible to be open minded and to not um i'm hearing stick to your old ways okay whatever that may mean to you maybe your old way is to to really um <laughs> shut things off because you're afraid to get hurt or you're afraid to and this is really common really really common <laughs> um especially you know when it comes to relationships and you're not you haven't had a um a six i don't know how, i don't know what a successful relationship is or if you've not had a harmonious relationship or a supportive one uh, for a while there are chances that you have trust issues and that you're not that open minded not that you know receptive to new beginnings in love and uh, that's why they're asking you to keep an open mind okay be flexible for others of you i'm getting a message that this may be an opportunity to do something that you're not used to doing and uh, that's why you're it's it's like an alternative okay a different door maybe you were knocking on um a particular door all this while but a new door is opening up for you it's an alternative but it's something that you may not have experienced before or heard before and so you're feeling like you know i got to just stick to what i know okay and i'm also getting the message that just don't give up okay <laughs> ride the wave don't give up because you're very close to getting that success or um a new a, a renewal of some sorts is what i'm getting okay the tree can also be a very healing card it's got uh it's got health as well as its message so if you've been feeling really tired and worn out um i feel like um your health could be improving this week you could be feeling more energized more vibrant and um yeah more stable more grounded okay let's see your relationship card you've got honesty is essential speak with love and truth you see how this person here is offering this uh flower to this girl this woman again i feel like um that's why there's this uh question about the why okay understand the motives uh for some of you if if this is a uh, an ex you know coming back or something like that then you might want to ride it out okay <laughs> and get some more information and find out why is this person approaching you now what is their motivation okay yes we open minded about that but really dig deep and find out why and most importantly they your guides are urging you to be honest with yourself okay many a time we um 
we lie uh, to ourselves in a way that is detrimental to our growth we tell ourselves all the false stories you know in the form of negative or limiting beliefs about ourselves about how things are how things will be and what is possible and not possible for us and so that is the mask that we we tend to wear okay the mask of conditioning of beliefs that are negative that are limiting that's the mask you're being urged to remove and be truly really honest with yourself and with others of course this week okay so there's a new start happening especially in terms of either your romantic life or your finances okay or career could be that as well and it's it's something um this potential like i said is of the 10 of pentacles something that's going to really build and keep on giving is what i'm hearing okay so <laughs> sounds like a a great opportunity i hope you have a wonderful week ahead do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you again in another video Yeah take care god bless bye bye Hi group 3 for those of you who've chosen this pile let's take a look at your cards Oh we've got the scythe and the dog Hmm You might be cutting off a friend okay this week and it's going to be sudden it's going to be probably unexpected that's what i'm getting okay could be a friend a family member um if you're online if you're you know if you've got like followers or something it could be that there's a reduction in that number okay but for others of you i'm getting that this has something to do with uh like i said a close friend or a family member maybe you find out something about them and you want to distance yourself from them but you're cutting them off in some way okay or maybe this is forced in the sense that the the circumstances that we're in are forcing you to do that in some way okay let's see the other cards ouch <laughs> three of swords the nine of pentacles the emperor and the chariot okay we got two really powerful major arcana cards here which i love seeing i feel like this has something to do with self empowerment okay um if you you'll know if this resonates with you or not so if somebody has been uh going behind your back or you know treating you unfairly or has been betraying you in some way then this is the week where you finally decide to move on to cut this person off for some of you this could be a relationship okay that you've been in um could be a friendship could be a romantic relationship someone who could also have been really dominating and controlling and this is the week where you're taking your power back okay you are recognizing your sense of self worth and your integrity is what i'm hearing and i'm hearing that you're not compromising anymore so it's a really powerful energy that i'm getting off of these cards um so you could be dealing with an aries or a cancer or you could be either of these signs but i'm getting this strong exercising of your will power to move away from something that was not working or somebody who was not acting in your best interest and really taking your power back and removing yourself from that situation okay because there's um 
you are pretty good on your own is what i'm getting okay that's the strong feeling that i'm getting this is all about self empowerment feeling in your element feeling um independent okay and wanting having a no nonsense kind of energy is what i'm getting strongly from you <laughs> okay mm, uh when it comes to finances business career you're doing really well okay so that is not something that you need to worry about um it could also be in terms of a organization okay for some of you where you might be wanting to go your own way is what i'm getting like you might want to start something of your own instead like be self employed for some of you you're considering um moving away literally moving away as in physically from someone or something okay mostly it's someone let's see the other cards what to focus on you've got perspective and vision quest okay so this is talking about detachment and having a higher perspective on the situation uh you know how they say that the the calmest place to be is right in the center of uh or right in the eye of the storm okay so no matter what chaos is going on around you i feel like you're 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 really strong in your own energy in your own integrity is what i keep hearing i don't know why and you're really standing up for who you are what you believe in okay you've got this um this vision for yourself which is beyond this current circumstance is what i'm getting okay let's see the other cards you've got the world again there's a sense of walking away from something into the unknown for some of you or just like a lone wolf kind of energy you know um taking off for others of you i feel like this has something to do with walking a path that you've never walked on before okay it's it's quite scary because it's unknown but you're not actually all that scared is what i'm getting okay you understand that this is all happening for a reason and that it's going to lead you to something that is good okay and you're expanding your horizons here so you've got man holding a coin we've got conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse okay eclipses are really powerful and full moons are usually about releasing something so there is a completion happening here also with the world card here okay much like in tarot this world card is a culmination of some sorts okay some kind of conclusion happening and that could all go back to you uh cutting off some body from your life or reaching an, a conclusion about some situation that has brought you a lot of heartache okay so that could be in terms of relationships could be career could be anything else okay let's see we've got it's time to release negativity full moon and scorpio so both your cards from the moonology deck are about full moons and eclipses are also you know when we have really sudden sort of um events taking place okay it could also be a sudden release like i said of something sudden endings so you've got milk and honey number 51 to the sea number 7 okay yeah so there is something that you are heading towards and it's kind of the unknown 
okay for most of you um i'm almost getting like a detachment or d de- okay i heard decluttering as well so i don't know what that is about but there's a decluttering happening okay like some chains being broken all of a sudden and you setting yourself free and you're not at all feeling inequipped in any way to handle this situation let me remind you of that because your energy is really strong it's really powerful that's how it's coming across okay there could be a person involved here who is giving you uh some sort of support okay uh, for others of you this is um an improvement in your financial circumstances and that goes back to the 9 of pentacles as well uh and with the chariot there's a sense of victory okay um and a sense of accomplishment here reaching a goal reaching some sort of milestone okay and there is a lot of energy here of things coming to a conclusion things coming to a culmination and reaching a point where you're ending something and starting something new or you're broadening your horizons to tap into or reach for something that you've not exposed yourself to previously if that makes sense you know basically going into the unknown okay let me put it that way that is also what this card talks about uh that you are being led by spirit okay that face that you see in the sky there it it's indicative of um spirit guiding you in a direction that you may not have a map with you for this new place but you are willing to walk that path even though it may be slightly intimidating it is something that is calling out to you okay and this path could definitely lead to success could lead to even financial improvement if that is what you're looking for but they are asking you to release the past release negative energy release negativity even hurt and pain and resentment that you may have been carrying okay until now it's um that's why i was hearing you know you're coming to a conclusion about also why something happened and why something um painful happened in your life and realizing that okay this actually brought me something that was actually good for me okay or it empowered me in some way okay and the milk and honey is a beautiful card to get it is um abundance it is the sweetness of life and really um being open to receive uh the goodness the 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 beauty the grace and the abundance that life has to offer okay let's see your relationship card you've got speak the language of love loving words have the power to change lives including your own so for some of you i feel like you uh <laughs> there are two things yeah one is that you have been hurt by somebody okay someone may have been really harsh with you spoken i'm hearing spoken out of turn as well somebody who may have talked down to you and who may have spoken really harsh words there is an opportunity this week to either remove yourself from that situation or to to shine your light in a way that this person realizes that it doesn't affect you anymore okay and you don't need to do that by proving something to somebody but you can be um like you can be humble about it as well okay now if you have exchanged harsh words with somebody um uh, there's a chance of 
or there's an opportunity here to maybe show more compassion to this person okay i don't know what what this relationship is and what your dynamic is with this person but it could as well be um a close relationship okay that is what i'm getting there's a real focus here on words okay and the sides can also indicate somebody who is very very harsh with their communication they may be quite sarcastic and witty which is fun okay having banter is great but um sometimes they go off they go too far with that okay and say things that could be really mean and hurtful so that is a is a message that i'm getting as far as your relationships and your love life is concerned to really focus on the words and try to sort of soften the language that you interact with uh people you use to interact with people okay <laughs> um yeah so it looks like you're coming to an end of some sort of a cycle this week and there is uh some sweetness some mystery on the other side of this new path that you are being led on and uh, i feel like you're completely ready okay you are equipped mentally emotionally and uh, physically for it okay you are equipped for it you're just being urged to have a higher perspective of the situation and um, yeah and be open to being guided okay all right interesting so let me know how this resonates for you i hope you have a wonderful week ahead do take care of yourself and do subscribe to the channel do hit the like button if you enjoy the reading and i'll see you again in another video god bless thanks for watching bye bye